Hey everyone, it's Evan again. Today I'm going to do another movie review, and say it's on a movie from 2018, and that is Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. Now the plot of this movie is where this kid named Miles Morales gets bitten by a radioactive spider, you know, because he becomes Spider-Man, obviously. And then he meets Spider-Man, the Peter Parker one, played by Jake Johnson, and uh, they find it weird that there's other, there's another Spider-Man, and they find, and they find other versions of Spider-Man, like Spider-Ham, Spider-Gwen, and this Japanese girl named Penny Parker, who has like a mechanical robot, sounds like an anime to me, and there's this crime boss named Kingpin, played by Leif Schreiber, who wants to, you know, destroy the universe and rip a hole in the space-time continuum so all the different Spider-Man or and Spider-Woman since Gwen Stacy's there to stop Kingpin and get back to the her universe is safe and sound so that's pretty much the plot of this movie. This movie's been getting a lot of praise. 99% on Rotten Tomatoes. I know Rotten Tomatoes is bullcrap but Wow, 99% for an anime movie that's not made by Disney or Pixar. That's quite an achievement. And, yep, this movie is pretty dang good. Is it as good as The Incredibles 2 or Isle of Dogs? No, but this movie was still very good. I definitely had a lot of fun with it. The animation the animation's probably the best thing about it. Like, it looks exactly like a comic book. Like... It's computer animated, but it looks like it's 2D, and I think that's really cool that they did that, and there's a lot of colors everywhere, and that it's just great. The acting's great. Um, I don't know who played Miles Morales, but whoever played him, he did really good as Spider-Man. He's definitely a great Spider-Man, I think, and... You know, at least he's brave and he does stuff. It's not like Spider-Man Homecoming where Iron Man just does all the work while Spider-Man just screws up everything. And Haley Steinfeld, she was good. I like Haley Steinfeld. She's she's really cute. Uh, she like Gwen Stacy. She was really good. Uh, and, oh, and I forgot to mention Nicolas Cage was in this movie. He played Spider-Man Noir, who's a a crime version of Spider- he's in black and white obviously because Spider-Man Noir and yeah the movie does have some funny moments it has a lot of heart and it's just an all-around really fun film it's definitely really good I if you haven't seen it it's definitely worth a watch it's fun for the whole family and it's overall just a really fun film so that's my review of Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse see you next time